Hello my friends welcome back to the channel today i'm back with another awesome video tutorial we can quickly look at the output and get the gist of what we will learn in this video if you see the output this creative image gallery reveals the image name whenever the mouse hovers over it also the animation looks very smooth right are you ready to learn to create this awesome creative image gallery in powerpoint Let's start the video with the creation of the shapes that we want. As usual, I already have a slide in my presentation. Go to insert shapes, select rounded rectangle, draw a rectangle and go to shape format. Set height as 7 and width as 7. Align the shapes correctly. I'm reducing the radius of the rectangle. Right click on it and select format shape. Select gradient fill in the shape fill option. I already have my gradient palette here and showing the hex code for your reference. Then go to the shape line option and select no line. Select the rectangle and press Ctrl D three times to duplicate the rectangle. Align the last rectangle to where we want it. Then select all the four shapes. Go to shape format, align, select distribute horizontally. This will distribute the shapes with the even space. Select all the shapes and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then position it properly. Let's insert the images on top of these shapes. Go to insert, select pictures, then insert from this device. Select your pictures and hit insert. Right click on the images and go to format object. Go to size, disable the log aspect ratio and set height as 6.5 and width as 6.5 then enable again the lock aspect ratio and close it go to picture format crop crop to shape select the rounded rectangle I randomly aligning the pictures on the shapes for time being Align the images with the shapes using align options like align center and align middle. Otherwise, we can use the smart guides to align the images. I'm reducing the radius of the rounded corners so that it will blend with the shapes underneath. Let's insert the text boxes on top of the images. Go to insert, shapes and select text box. Place the text box on top of the image and then type the name as you wish. 
play with the font formatting till you get the desired output. Select the text box and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Place it over the next image and edit the name of the image. Do this for all the text boxes. These are just fancy names used for this tutorial. Select the image, right click on it and then select bring to front to push the text boxes underneath the images. Do this for all the images. Let's do the hyperlinking of the slides. To do that, firstly we need dummy empty slides to do the first level link to the main slide. So I am inserting 8 dummy slides since we have 8 images. Now select the first image, go to insert, select action. Select hyperlink to in the mouse over actions. Hit slides in the drop down then select the record slides from the list in this case it's slide 2 let's map all the slides in the same way select action mouse over hyperlink to hit slides and select the record slide After mapping all the slides, we can delete the dummy slides that we don't need anymore. Let's play with the shape by adding some effects to them. To do that, duplicate the first slide by hitting Ctrl plus D. In slide 2, select the first shape and increase its size vertically. Then select the respective text box underneath the image from the selection pane and move it down. Again duplicate the main slide and make it like the last slide. Resize the second shape vertically then move the respective text box down. Same way you have to repeat this process until all the shapes get resized.
Let's apply some background for all the shapes except the main slide. Go to the second slide, select first image and Ctrl D to duplicate it. Resize it to fit for the whole slide. Right click on the image and select send to back. Then go to picture format tab, click on artistic effect and apply the blur effect. Then move on to the third slide and repeat the same process until the ninth slide. Let's see what we have done so far in the slideshow mode. The mouse over actions play a perfect role here. Let's tweak this effect with the morph transition. Select all 9 slides. Go to transition tab, then select morph, reduce its duration to 0.75 and unselect on mouse click. Done. Finally, we reached the end of the tutorial. Let's see the output in the slideshow mode. Do you feel wow? If yes, I request you to subscribe now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit like and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching this video. Special thanks to 6k plus subscribers. I'll see you in the next awesome video. Until then, stay tuned. Bye. Signing off the Slide Master.